the other one is electrolytic refining in this method the impure metal is made to act as anode a strip of the same metal in pure form is made as cathode they are put in a suitable electrolytic bath containing soluble salt of the same metal the more basic metal remains in the solution and the less basic metal ones go on to the anode mud you are able to see the impurities here and pure metal will get settled here so this process is also explained using the concept of electrode potentials over potential and gives energy so in the anode you will be having the metal will become a metal ion and electron ion will be coming out over the cathode the metal ion with the electron ion will become will collect the metal this is how the entire process of electrolytic refining will be so i'll take a typical example of copper copper is refined using an electrolytic method anodes of impure copper and pure copper strips are taken as cathode the electrolyte is acidified solution of a copper sulfate and the net result of electrolysis is a transfer of copper in pure form from the anode to the cathode so here is a reaction you got the copper and you'll be getting copper 2 plus and 2 electron minus ion so here is the loss of electron so it's oxidation so here copper 2 plus ion plus 2 electron will become the real copper this is a reduction the gain of electrons impurities from the blister copper deposit as anode mud which contains antimony selenium tellurium silver gold and platinum recovery of these elements may meet the cost of refining zinc can also be refined in this way 